And John, I was on my hike the other day and everything on there used to be lush and green. Now it's dry and brittle and you're talking about a warm-up's on the way, John. Good morning. That was exactly the question I was going to ask you, Raina, because that's been something we've all been noticing. Those hillsides like Mount Tam right here that had been covered with the green, lush um, grasses and brush from the really wet winter season now starting to look really dry. And that is boosting what we call fuel moisture content. And that is allowing a lot of potential fires to burn. If we do see any sort of spark out there, what a lovely sunrise ahead of our last day with not necessarily heat wave status heat today. We're looking at 80s for our inland areas, so it will be a warmer one, but we're going to see gradually rising temperatures in the days to come. That paired with those hillsides that are not as green as they once were, and of course the dry conditions we've seen for multiple weeks now, and we will have increased fire danger ahead of us. What's going on here? Well, this high pressure ridge is about to be building back in. Today we're enjoying the very last throw of this dip in the jet stream that is really starting to move on its way out. So today we are seeing that low pressure area gradually moving east. It's still keeping us mild today, but this high pressure ridge is now set to be building back in. And this is what's going to result in those temperatures building from just the 90s over the next few days to well into the triple digits over the weekend. And that's where fire danger becomes a real big concern now. As for today, it's 60s in San Francisco and at the coastline. It'll be 70s to 80s elsewhere, but today is definitely the last of the cooler feeling days. So I know these numbers look warmer than they have the past few days, but take full advantage of them. Use it as a good chance to get any of that yard work done, because especially those of you inland, you're not going to want to be doing too much in the days to come as we see these temperatures climbing so rapidly. Antioch and Vacaville are closest spots to 90 today, although we are going to save that number for tomorrow on through the rest of the week. Then comes the weekend and you see those triple digits building inland and 80s along the bay shore. So things are getting hotter and fire danger going to be increasing rather rapidly.